All right, Lissa, so the sixth question is about being camera shy. I don't know if this is a question or a concern or complaint or what, but the person is saying, hey, I'm wondering if I can do this without showing my face or if I have to muster up the courage to overcome camera shyness. What's your advice for growing my Instagram and YouTube account, even if I'm camera shy? Oh, that's, it's a good thing to be camera shy in the beginning. And it's normal. It's completely normal. I was incredibly shy when I did my first video. I was whispering and I was really quiet, kind of mousy, right? Just like ASMR. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I didn't, I didn't have like my full uh, personality showing, but I did it anyway. I did it anyway. Um, that said, you don't always have to show your face. You can do videos showing food or uh, if, if you don't want to be on there, you can do voiceovers with pretty pictures or something while you get up the courage. And if you are camera shy, you can just practice maybe with a friend. I noticed that for a lot of people when they start and they're like a little shy to do an interview with somebody mm. kind of gets that, that conversation going. Mm. Your first few videos could be interview videos like what we're doing right here. You could get on zoom and interview somebody or whatever, but you just need to get that content out. And if you're shy, that's okay. Just play around with it. Practice, 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 record videos on your own. It took me eight times to get that first video up on YouTube of me talking. The first video, the very first video that I did was actually a recipe video because I was too shy to be on camera. So I made a recipe video, but then I realized that I needed to be on there and to answer questions because again, in the Facebook groups, I was answering a lot of questions for people, getting them that result. And I felt like I needed to connect with them a little bit more. So I, decided to just to try it out, but it took time, patience. The, the more you do it, it's just going to be second nature. And when I pull out the camera, it's just super easy. If you've done Instagram stories before, it, you know, that's going to be a little bit easier to do the YouTube videos, but really you just got to try and get out there and start helping people. Yeah. A couple of things to add to that. First and foremost, like you said, it's actually good to be camera shy. And the reason for that is because when you're proper camera shy and you're new, people can sense that. And they can sense that you don't have any ulterior motives. Like you're just genuinely being yourself and they can tell that like, you're kind of new, you're kind of novice. So like, they know you don't have anything to hide. You're just being yourself and you're there to help them, right? And that brings me to the second point. You being on camera, like me being on camera right now, I'm not being on camera so that I can show my face. I'm just being on camera because this is the easiest way to get my message across, right? And so this video that people are watching right now, people, people didn't open this email or people didn't click on this video to watch it. However, we're showing this video. They didn't click on it to watch it because they want to see Ted and Lissa. Mm -hmm. People are watching this. You're watching this right now, this particular video, because you want to learn how to overcome camera shyness. Or you're curious to know what we have to say about camera shyness. So this video isn't about Lissa and I, it's about you. Right. And listen, I know that. So we're making the message about you and how you can overcome camera shyness. So if you're getting all caught up on being camera shy, you're thinking too much about yourself. That's just what it comes down to. You got to get over yourself and you got to remember, it's not about you. It's about the message. It's about the solution. It's about the problem that you're eliminating from people's lives by speaking your truth, by speaking your solutions and giving them to people so that they can get the results that you know that they can get. Just make it about them, make it about them, make it about them. And you'll realize that you can get over yourself so much quicker. But having said that, I've been on YouTube now for over like 11 years, making videos ever since I was a little kid, like 12 or 13 years old. And I still make videos where I think I look and sound stupid and I don't want to upload them after. Right? I've done that too. Yep. There's so many videos I've done. I'm like, what? I have, I have videos that I've uploaded years ago and I look back on them now. I'm like, why didn't I ever post that? But at the time I was like nervous and whatever. So we all go through it. It's totally yeah. normal, but it's about the message. Like you say. Totally, totally. So it's totally normal. I mean, my favorite rapper G easy. Uh, one of my favorite rappers, G easy. Some of you guys may know him. It's not really my favorite anymore, but he's be my favorite. We saw he was on the radio one day and some guy's like, oh, can we play some of the songs from your first album? And Jeezy's like, no. He's like, well, what do you mean? No. He's like, aren't you proud of them? He's like, no, they suck. Don't play them. Play my new shit. <laughs> so like, he didn't want to go back and listen to his old stuff because he was like, he just he didn't like it anymore. Right? So we're so 
Um, we're going to be our own cr worst critics. But at the end of the day, nobody really cares about you. They care about themselves. So make the message about themselves. Remember it's about them. And um, you'll do great. And again, remember this. If you can overcome camera shyness, okay, remember this. If you can overcome camera shyness, but you know other people can't because there are millions of people who will never overcome camera shyness, and you're not going to be one of them. You're going to overcome it. But when you do overcome it, you're going to realize that there's way less competition now because you overcame camera shyness. Mm -hmm. All the people out there who are wishing they could be on camera, but they just can't seem to muster up the courage to get over it. Meanwhile, here you are. You're on the other side of the fence. You overcame it. You're carrying out the cameras. You're going to be – there's just really no competition. It's just all creation once you start making videos because nobody – so few people are willing to get on camera, get on YouTube, get on Instagram, and speak their truth on video. It's a super scary thing to do. Mm -hmm. And also, you're not going to be perfect right off the bat. Like – video editing i have grown so much in my video editing through the years like i've improved dramatically i feel and now the stuff that i put out i i feel is awesome but i know in like three or four years i'm gonna look back on these videos and be like what was i thinking yeah. but at the time i'm just like right now i feel very confident in what i'm posting and it wasn't always like that and it won't always be like that so it's just Again, about the message. And this is what I do too sometimes too. Getting in my head, I think like, oh, so-and-so made a video like that and he speaks so well. He speaks so articulately. I'm going to make a video too. Now I'm inspired by him. Then I go and I make a video trying to be like him. Fuck. <laughs> I can't be like him. I can't be like so-and-so. Like they're them. But guess what? They can't be me because I'm me and I just got to be me. But if I try to be like someone else and if I'm judging myself based off someone else, I'm going to be super self-critical all the time. But if I just allow myself to be myself, then I know I'm, I'm super unique. I'm my own little snowflake. And uh, people see that. People appreciate that. And those who vibe, vibe. And those who don't, don't. So that's that.